a look out over this valley. It's changing colors. I'm heading down in here again, over to the marble hole I was in in my last video. I completed a video here yesterday. I was gonna come back and dig, but I guess I found enough stuff. I'm gonna go around this way this time. I think it's quicker, but my dig hole's over in there. We're gonna look for vintage marbles, so I will get back when I get over there and start finding something if I do. Later. Right over there about 10 yards is where I was finding any marbles in the last trip. But right here under this big tree, I found a peltier tiger like laying right here. I'm gonna open another hole over here because you just never know. Or see if I can see anything here. And then I'll move over there. Later. Right, I ended up settling on this place where I found that peltier peerless patch right in here. I'm gonna look around in here for a few hours. I had to pack giveaway stuff and all kinds of stuff this morning, so I got a later start on it. But right here's where I basically left off that yellow and blue pody or peerless patch come from right here and i'm opening the hole a little bit to see if there's any more stuff in here there's a pair of like snips pliers right here i'll get back Using an old axe an old metal axe but that one's break i just found one a couple weeks ago to see it up here i'm opening this up i haven't seen any marbles yet but i've been here for an hour raking i rake from right in here all the way up and sorted a hole back in there. I'm down to a layer, but it feels dug to me. But I had a cave in, I'm raking back through the stuff and I seen my first marble of the day. I'm moving to someplace else. This is the first one in an hour and I haven't seen much. So I'm gonna find it. I was trying to find one, you see it? It's right here, I think it's a vitreo. I saw it roll, it is. It's one of these beautiful vitreos with multiple colors. I just found one of these. I'll show you the frame at the end. I found one just like this. Let's see, it'll be clear base. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll show it under a light too. That's pretty nice. It'll be all clear with the color veneered on the outside. I think it's called like a vitro agate tiger eye. It's pretty nice. But I'm gonna go down around the hill and see what I can see. At least I got one marble. It's pretty rough going today. But... Now I'll show you this vitre marble here real quick. Just how translucent these things are. You can see, look. They look opaque when you hold your finger up to them. And, and they're just, it's all clear on the inside. And that color, it's just a thin veneer of color. I just found one like this. I'll show it to you in the frame with it, all these framed up later well that wasn't a bad trip i got two marbles and there's the one i just showed in this previous clip right beside another one just like it that's crazy how them runs of marbles they had that just down to where they could just make them look alike but that's a nice looking frame and that's some nice color to add to the both of those look just outstanding in that frame i did all this this month in october if you like people finding marbles go back and watch my videos i have enough content on here for you to watch a vid couple videos a day for the next year and a half later never seen this blue magic tidy bowl look at that that looks real 40s i just raked it out right here i'm way down the hill now look this has i've never seen this tidy ball f toilet cleaner flushing does it that's got an old 30s like look to it anyway i'll get back if i see anything else neat like this that's metal and it says rca victor right there that's kind of cool looking and look at this i see this up there it's a plastic box to an emerson radio model 32 poi huh. one of these days i dug all up through here i found some things to show but not much no marbles i didn't see any I thought there'd be some in here. Still real wet. And all my good holes are caved in. I just do not feel like digging them out today. I was digging right up there and it's caved in. But I'm going to walk around the hill. I'll get back if I see anything. Look at the modern trash in here. There's like a speaker. There's a mower. There's a power wheels. There's mattresses. This stuff's tires. There's a lot of illegal dumping down in here along these hills. You can see none of this stuff's real old. See, there's a big something. That's a big, one of them big, cheap, big screen TVs, the big ones. The old versions thrown over the hill. I'll get back. 
I'm walking around here and just looking for other places to dig right now. But uh, there's a little bit of trash showing up in here. But it looks like stuff that's later it was thin in bags and it's just kind of in. There's a bunch of junk in here. They look at all of it. Jeez. I'm looking for a place. Later. I'm trying to climb up over this hill and I see another marble. It's just a clay one. But see that wall right in there? That's where I found that big vitro agate parrot marble and all kinds of real nice swirls. But I just dug the heck out of it and the layer ended. Um, but I missed one. And these ones are easy to miss. Let me set my bag down here. I'm trying to get through this mess of weeds. And I'm trying to surface hunt what I can here. You see there's bottles and stuff laying everywhere. There was some older trash. But you see the marble? The rain's washed this out. It's right here. Um, it's just a clay. You know, these are real common. I'm looking for the glass ones, but that ain't bad. I don't have a clay in that new frame. Not bad for laying out. Huh. I'm up here. Right here is where I dug. You can see the lip I've got. I dug a lot of nice marbles here, made a lot of videos, but it's just wiped out. I was looking at the bank. I don't see. I think I just wiped it completely out. Lay that. All right. When I was walking up over that hill where I found that clay marble, that's the marble I was talking about I dug in there. That big vitro agate parrot. Look how beautiful that thing is right there. And I found lots of nice marbles in that spot. This green swirl right here, I found several of them. Some of these blue swirls. There was nice marbles in there, but I blitzed that. I thought I'd show you this. That's a beautiful marble. And you can kind of see I dug all these on my channel. There's another big vitro shooter. I dug that further down the hill. There's lots of nice ones in here. Thanks for watching. Look at that pool tab cans. There's lots of plastic and stuff. I'm way up the hill. This is like early 70s, it looks like. Look at that. That's crazy that that's still there. I'm going to rake through this stuff. There might be vintage toys in here, and they're going to be real nice. Later. Now, this is newer trash than what I normally dig in, but see, there's toys. There's a plastic roller skate, and this stuff ain't particularly new see there's a pool tab pepsi can it looks like yep it's a pool tab and heck you could that's crazy that them are that good that's nuts pool tab pepsi you see the stuff shoulder down in here under this stuff there's a iron beer can the stuff's almost old enough for marbles I'll look you here a minute. I don't normally do. I've never dug in this stuff. This. See, there's whole track bags of trash back in here, and it's not new. It's a foot or two down. Later, if I see anything, I'll get back. See my first thing. There's a little car right here. It's plastic. It's a little Jeep. It's like a little. It's perfect. That's kind of cool. There's going to be toys in here. I'll maybe clean up one of them cans or maybe I can find a better one. Here's this little plastic Jeep. It looks like a Jeep Wrangler. It's kind of cool. Find stuff like this. The plastic really holds up. I don't know if that's a cereal prize or these came in a bag or what. But that's kind of cool, huh? Perfect condition. Later. Look at this. There's an old gun to start like a radio controlled track for cars it says aurora there's toys in here i might find something cool i'll get back i want to see you there man i'll be able to make some videos here look at the cans back in there there's a pool tab coke i don't want that but look at this that's an acl 7 up with the original cap one that can be saved and that can be saved that has to be worth a few bucks Probably from the early 70s. Later. Some decent stuff in here. Look at this. Expires. Huh. That's a pretty nice plate. Expires 80. 1980 non commercial Ohio plate. I'll take that. That's kind of cool. Hang that up in my garage. Huh. I got this plate cleaned up. I'm gonna put. The, I have a bunch of other plates in my 
my mom has a real old garage like workshop and my dad saved a bunch of license plates like this and I hung most of the ones I've dug in there and ones off our cars but that'll be a nice one to put in there you know it's 40 years old and it's real nice condition it's an aluminum one it's worth a few bucks but that's I got it all straight and that'll look cool later everywhere there's trash all over the place. Look at this, Longhorn Beer pool tab. I think I can crank some of these out. I'm gonna take a few of them. Huh. There's a Pepsi, it's pool tab. It says West Virginia on the top. There's trash just thick in here. It's 70s, and it looks like up to about 80. Huh. And end up being a treasure trove. Look at this. I knew it. Look at this. This is one of the coolest figures I've found in a while. That looks like a Civil War soldier. And he's holding the gun. Look at that. Folks, I don't know how I do this. I've been walking around. You saw in the first part of the video, all around the hill, tooling around. Decided to, my bag's clear over there. Decided to walk up in here by the road. And I'm finding cool stuff. That 7-Up bottle's cool. Some of them cans are going to clean up, I think. That figure is exceptional. I'll turn this on here in a minute and do some live raking. We'll see what we can do. This is like, you know, 40, 45 year old trash. We'll see what's here. But... No, I didn't look at this figure good enough in the dump. You can see this, the red sun on his hat. You know what that is, don't you? That's a Japanese World War II soldier. And that thing is awesome. I don't know who made this one. Maybe some of you will recognize it. If you know, put it down in the description. Um, that is awesome. Look at that. Wow. I hope there's a bunch more of them in there. That's a very, that's one of the coolest figures I've ever found, I think. I'd have liked to have that play set as a kid. That's awesome. Later. Never seen this. I didn't know what this was. This is a big one of them Pepsis. It's a tall one though. It looks like it's 10 ounces. No. What is, how many ounces is that? 10? 16. I've never seen this. It's no deposit, no return, but it's embossed. I kind of like that. Pepsi. Never seen that one that size. I'll get that. Alright, here's this Pepsi bottle. See how nice it cleaned up. Not making them anymore. 16 ounce or I've never found one of these. And here recently, I dug one of these. Just it's the same bottle, but this one's what, 10? You can see here, it's the same. Now I got, that's cool to bring that stuff and get the different sizes of them. They sure as heck aren't making these no more. And People collect Pepsi stuff. Them have to be worth, you know, for the pair, 10 bucks. I bet you could get in an antique store for both of them together. Um, that's pretty cool. Later. Another piece of a toy there. Funny box. And it's got a dog head right there. Did you see it? All right. Look at this. This is awesome. I don't have this bazooka guy. He's got a different... Looks like some kid painted the bottom of that, but that's going to be perfect. There's toys everywhere in here. Must be a room clean out or something. Man, did I luck out. I love stuff like this. And I like that figure even better. Man, folks, man. See, here's another piece of some toy here. It's got like parts in it. It's off like the front of a car or something. But there's trash everywhere here. And this stuff's in nice condition. It's sheltered here. I'll get back. All right, here's this little bazooka guy. I've never seen one with that style of hat. It's like a marine hat, maybe. Recon marine. That's a pretty cool figure. And it's got that same indented base. I, got, I left just a little bit of that red paint that was on it. But I don't have this figure. I'd say it's the same set of figures with that Japanese figure. It looks like it. This would have been the U.S. and there would have been a mix of Japanese figures too. But that's nice. I love it. I love stuff like this. Hopefully there's more in there. Later. 
a big rock right here I need to get out. This is a foundation stand. I can't carry that one. Look at that thing. No way I can pick that up. But I'm gonna look a little more and find one more thing and then we're coming back here. I'll cut this off. I've been out here walking around a long time. I'm tired. Come back here with a fresh set of legs and a clear mind. Cause I was getting real discouraged there for a while. Cause I wouldn't find, I had two marbles there. And any one of them's really nice. There's just, see the boots, look at that, that boot's been here for 40 years. Unbelievable. Uh, there must be just army men in here everywhere if I found two. See, it's under this stuff, this plastic, and it's... Man, look at this. Look at all these old cans. I saw a Paps Blue Ribbon beer here with the original label on it. Look at that. And look at this can. Barrel root beer. I'm sure some of you remember this. I remember it. Oh, that's from the 70s. That's an iron can. And look at it. Uh, look at this old two liter bottle. You know, I'm not really into these bottles and stuff, but see, that's almost nice enough to clean up since it's pool tab. Um, this is crazy. This is crazy. What's that? That's cool. It's got a stopper in it. It's got little beads or something in it. Huh. Look at this. There's a glass two liter bottle and you know when's the last time they've been in glass? The 70s? Dad's root beer. That's a cool, th it's got like foam label. I remember them foam labels like that. Like, this is like one of these reproduction bottles. But it's broke. Made in Taiwan. Look, it looks like an old bottle, and it's got some embossing on it, but it's busted. It's got a horse head right there. I don't know if perfume come in that. Look, a horseshoe and a horse head. I think that says made in Taiwan. I can't tell. I think right there. See it? That would have been a cool find. Huh. That's new. It's made to look like an old bottle, but it's not. Fill it up here. I'm not probably going to take care of it. Man, this is nuts. Look at all the cans and stuff. Figures, but look here, I got a metal bar. I knew there would be more toys. Should be able to get a date off this. That's a Lambert, yeah, it's a Ferrari, I think. Looks like one of them cheap, like Taiwanese ones. Oh, it's a Lamborghini. Hong Kong, one tire is missing. I thought it looked like a Ferrari, but it's a Lamborghini. All the wheels are missing, but I'll take that. The fun box later. See, look at this layer. My goodness. Huh. Newer than what I normally dig in, but definitely worth looking at. So it'll be a nice change of pace. I had no idea I'd start finding stuff. I've had one of these for a long time. That's a cool looking bottle. Fanta. It's embossed. Huh. Probably take that. It's worth taking. I'm going over here to get my bag and, so I can put that stuff in that I want to take and clean up. And I'll get up there and try to find one more thing. And then we will come back here and I'll try to find more of them figures tomorrow. These are very cool. That's Civil War one. I can't wait to see it cleaned up. That's very cool. And the bazooka guy is awesome too. All right, see the trash comes clear over into here. This is just a lot of stuff to rake through. Days of videos. Later. You know, that's an odd rolling rock beer too. I'm gonna take that and put these on a box and give them to Doug. Here's one of those eggs out of like a fruit for a kid's prize. That had something in it. There's toys in here a lot. Later. I don't remember. I remember Dad's root beer. They're still making it, but I don't remember that can. Huh. Throw them up. There. 
Here's an old advertising pen that says, We buy, sell, trade, North Street, Pond and Sales, New Martinsville, West Virginia. Now look at this little puffy sticker. It's a little monster. It's a sticker. Stickers used to be huge in this area of trash. Early 80s. Huh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. These are pretty nice looking bottles. Look at the cap on that. It's got a Pepsi cap on it. Looks like the original cap, but I don't think. That's a nice bottle. That's going to clean up. I'm going to take, I got one in my bag already. That's it. I remember that from the pop machines at pools. Tab. I bet that brings a lot of memories back. Seeing that in that old can. There's Diet Pepsi, one calorie. There's just stuff everywhere in here. Country Colors, I don't even know what that is. But I'm just gonna cut all these vines out of here, these grape vines with my handsaw. And then I'm just gonna get out of here because I'm pretty tired. I walked all around down in there and dug around for two stinking marbles to come up here and strip fun and stuff immediately. But it's actually cool for a video. We'll change it up a little bit and dig in some of this newer trash over the next couple videos and we'll see what we get. I found some more of these Pepsi bottles with the embossing on them, several. I'll clean one of these up and some of that, them figures, I can't wait to get them cleaned up. I love stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed. Hope this is a nice change of pace for you. Um, there's a lot of trash in here to look through and there seems to be toys in it. I'll get these reeks cut out and I'll be ready to come back here and just, you know, find a few things. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll get back at you on the next one. It's a shame I can't see what that is. There's an 8-track cassette. <laughs> sure as heck ain't making them anymore either. That's about, you know, up to the early 80s I think they made these. Huh. You know, there's an old Polaroid picture and it's got like a picture of a tree and a field and it looks like the river out here. Huh. I'll take that and see if I can't clean it up and see what it is better. But I'm not going to take this, but you can get the picture there. You see, I think that's the river back in there to the back. That's looking down a hill and there's a tree right there in the center in a field. That's crazy that that's here in that good a condition. But and as some of you are asking me to see some of this stuff, you can see here's just some fine shelves. This is all stuff I've pulled off dumps in just the last couple of years doing videos on YouTube and this is just a small portion of it. But you can see here's some of my recent finds. Here's that car I just found and all these little figures and stuff and there's some nice bottles here. There's some old bottles. There are blobs and I'm not really much of a bottle guy. I like this other stuff better and I'm there for the marbles. The marbles is why I'm on the dumps. But you can see, here's stuff, there's the figures from this video, and there's lots of other figures. Just, there's a boxer, um, like Daniel Boone there, little animals, army men. I just got tons of this stuff. There's the gun I just found, and check out that tank. That guy moves up and down in it when you roll the wheels. But, see, there's jugs, and these are average Crocs. They're nice condition, but... There's one with blue stripes on it. My mom already has like six of them, so I just put that one here. But there you go. That's a look at some of the stuff I find. And we'll go back to that place with these figures. Hopefully I can find more of them. Some of these bottles turned out nice too. I think some of them cans I can even save. And they're worth a few dollars a piece. I might fart around with it. Some of them were pretty cool. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.